What up, YouTube? It's your boy Schmitty. Coming back after a long month off, two months. I don't know, it's been a while since I made a video. So we're going to get right into it. Um, so the first thing we're going to show is uh, this bat that Tops85401 Nate and Mike Moynihan. I think I butchered that. I'm sorry if I did, Mike. Baseball collector. Um, they reached out to me, uh, called me, and uh, asked me if I was interested in a 1990 bat that was owned by Bobby Brown, who was the president of the American Baseball League um, from the early 80s, mid-80s to early 90s, mid-90s, somewhere around there. Not 100% sure on how much time he served, but... Uh, one thing I did learn on this bat was, um, I wasn't, I didn't know that there was two different, um, American League, uh, presidents. I mean, two different presidents, you know, one for the American League and one for the National. So I thought it was pretty cool that this came out of his personal collection. Um, I'm probably going to hang this on my wall somewhere, but I'm thinking about getting some signatures on it. Uh, maybe in a nice gold Sharpie. Um, Canseco would be pretty easy. Dave Stewart. So I'll throw a little ink toward the uh, middle of the handle, toward the knob, and then uh, mount it on my wall. So baseball collector Mike and Tops 85401 Nate, uh, thank you. You know, I was definitely on the fence after my team lost. I know it's been a while since I've been on here, but after my A's lost to the Yankees, oh, my God, it lets the air out of me every time. Every time my boys, you know, I go hard on memorabilia, and then when they, they lose, it just kind of – the sales, they just, they fold my sales, you know what I mean? So, I just, I don't know, I, I get deflated really easily, you know, after they lose, but it's still my team, uh, we had a great season, um, so I'm trying to get back into the collecting aspect of uh, the hobby, you know, I lose interest for a while, then I'll get back into it, I'll see some stuff that I like, so I'm going to get into a few cards and show you, so, um, here's one of the cards that I picked up. Since I've been gone, was a Topps Luminaries Reggie Jackson number five of five. Uh, really like this card because it's in the road grays with the uh, green helmet, which you don't see too many photos of. Um, I had some more stuff, but I just kind of doing this video on on uh, just random video. Uh, I had my Matt Olson autograph from uh, when I left off at the show and he signed my bobblehead. But this is probably my biggest pickup. Um, 2018 tops five star Chris Davis absolutely disgusting patch in there that thing is nasty it's beautiful it's it's one of the best cards to me of 2018 so you can see it as the bottom right corner one of one so I'm the only person that owns this card right now second owner I should say first owner pulled it I'm the second, so had to have it. Actually, I ended up winning this. I offered the guy some money for it, and uh, he declined, said he wanted to go to auction, and I ended up winning it cheaper than I would have paid for it. So that's a bonus, definite bonus. So I'll let you get the, I mean, those are absolutely beautiful cards. Just killer. Love it. Absolutely love it. Those are fantastic man that just gets me juiced and uh i'll show you guys i've been gone a little while um picked up a traeger been smoking a lot of meat and then uh, my other little hobby that i do is i smoke cigars and this right here is my uh hemidor from uh arturo fuente and this hemidor is uh pretty badass it's, it's got a back door let me see if I can... I think I just locked it. Give me a second. Let me put this down. The Don Carlos Hemador. I did lock it. So, there's the key. We'll slide this forward. And we'll open this up. You gotta see. It's uh, Don Carlos the Legend. It's number 800. I got a few good sticks in here. The man. The only way you can get this cigar right here was... If you acquired this box, you were allowed to purchase two boxes of these. Um, 
these go for about $700 a box. I know I can get some more money for these. I can probably get about 100 bucks close to it. And then uh, the 2017 Eye of the Shark. These right here are fantastic. I have three. So those are like my Christmas. Uh, the Liga Pravada 52. So if you smoke cigars, you know I got some uh, got some decent ones in here. Uh, and the underneath, just Bovita packs. I got the temperature gauge. It goes right to my phone. Let's my my uh, alerts me if my um, humidity drops below 69. So that's pretty cool. Those are uh, I save all my tobacco uh, the wraps and I just put them in a clear jar. So I know people oh cancer and this and that. It's like you know what I smoked cigarettes for like 15 years. I quit on a whim and then cigars. You really, you're really not inhaling in that. So, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. So there's a, there's a really cool back door. I'll check. I'll show this to you guys before I forget. Check this out. This is cool. It's got a, a thumbprint of Arturo Fuente, the, the man, and then it slides out. I don't have anything in here right now. So, but that's where I would keep all my high end cigars away from my friends so you know something cool something special for me you know after a long week's work definitely uh have a cigar crack some wax maybe even pick up a few things so that's what i've been doing you know what i mean jmvp uh finally got my stuff from him um which is awesome i uh, met fred Blitnikoff. uh he signed my uh super bowl trophy which was dope. So, just kind of give you guys a rundown, man. Just taking care of my family and uh, just doing me, you know. So, hope everybody uh, is doing well. And I uh, appreciate you guys, all my subscribers that still kick it with me. Um, but it doesn't really matter to, to the subs that I have. It's all about picking up the phone and calling somebody that uh, shares the same hobby you are and just shooting the shooting the uh, the BS. So. All right, thanks for hanging out for a long seven minutes. We'll talk to you later.